here in beautiful Ashland, Kentucky, listening to Jason Guyman do his thing. Jason Guyman, look guys, this is my Jason Guyman. Look guys, I'm telling you, if you don't raise them prices, you ain't gonna do it. You wanna be one of them 99 dollars guys? You can be out there hanging, hanging Christmas lights, five thousand dollars a house. I love Jason Guyman. He gets me. Hey, Jason Guyman gets me pumped up. I like his live stream. Average idiot, Eastern Kentucky's only AI Power Podcast slash vlogs. Hey, today's video. I got a couple of little projects I want to do. It's about eight o'clock, seven thirty. I want to walk around, just kind of show you this, show you the um, what 2023 trailer setup or 2023 setup. What I got going on, soft wash rig, and just kind of show the equipment, do a walk around, and then we'll have some uh, footage from doing a. Uh, cleaning the deck and a couple other things maybe a roof wash i don't know what else i'll get i'll show you the equipment. uh dewalt home depot prosumer older unit that i bought off a concrete guy about five years ago um i'm really proud of this system look let me let me start by saying that all right I'll, I'll, let me just show you the system and then we'll go i got 250 foot got a little bit extra 250 foot this is about 200 on here flexilla hose Got the Southeast soft wash um, blonde plants. Um, after I bought it, I went to Lowe's Home Depot and was uh, just built it myself. But I kind of like the simplicity, how they build it. They got a better, little bit like more stainless stuff. I really like the way Southeast soft wash builds them. Seppo wasn't that expensive. It was actually, it was easier to just do it this way, but you can easily go to Lowe's Home Depot, and build it for about 30 bucks for your own lance and different thing. This is a Cor Corex. I don't know what duct tape's on there. Um, Cortex, Corex, Cox. Cox reels. Um, I was going to, this is uh, 250, this reel is set up for 250 foot. 250 foot of 3 8 hose, but there was a deal on Amazon to where it was like, instead of the like 260, 270, whatever it was, it was like 220. Like, pump just moved it was like 220 something like that because someone had returned it and this was a cheaper version i should have got the bigger one but hey it rolls up fine it's pretty much maxed out i was able to save a few bucks let's see this is just your uh m mingle yeah the mingle reel small hose i think this is, i don't even think this is three eight hose i think this is five sixteenth hose it's pretty small i didn't realize it when i ordered it this ball valve I want to get another ball valve. I don't really like it. One thing I have done with uh, with everything I'm doing. It, oh, this, this is like a, a hundred foot. Then I got an extra uh, uh, 50 foot over there if I need to extend it. That's This is pretty much only for surface cleaning. And maybe some rinsing here and there. But this is, this is only for that. I did order an Adams downstream injector. I, I got the uh, 2.3 gallon a minute. Uh, one with the orifice is a little bit bigger from so that I got the Adams chemical injector coming that's gonna be all right here's the here's the unit I'm gonna replace I'm gonna replace all this and that that pressure washer has been awesome for me uh, I'm having some issues now with the unloader that springs getting like rusted out and, and, and you know so I really have to crank it down and go back up so this is this might only be around for a few more weeks um the next machine i'm going to probably going to get is probably going to be one of the predator uh harbor freight predator four gallons a minute to get me through the rest of this season or i might go with the 5.2 gallon a minute, the five gallon a minute machines you know the five gallon a minute. like i said i've really done away with a lot of use of of that let me show you the surface cleaner i just took that up this is the wojet 18 inch service cleaner it's dope i really like it my x jet's in there somewhere oh this is what i started with so that's that's what i started with that's what i'm running now i still really 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 love this thing that's my neighbor i really enjoy this surface cleaner the small one i like the big one it looks good looks professional it helped build my confidence i felt like it was something i really needed and it does get the jobs done a whole lot faster, but where I'm at my business, I'm not, I'm not getting held back by time. 
so what I really should have done is kind of waited on that. But sometimes you just need something for your own confidence. Uh, because if you ain't self confident, you're not gonna sell any jobs, guys. That's just that's just the way it is. Um, just running off a 55 gallon drum. That's just pure water in there right now. I gotta go get some bleach. Um, I have another 55 gallon drum, but my father in law, I think, took it, borrowed it, stole it. I don't know. So I'm gonna get another one, but I'd really like to find is like two 30 gallon tanks. That's what I'd really like. I got some, I got a GF metering valve and a, another GF valve, one metering valve, one GF metering valve, uh, regular meter, regular GF valve, and then I got a regular half inch ball valve. So I'm gonna build a uh, proportional blend system. That's co that's coming in time. But I just kind of want to touch base. If, if if you're out there gonna be starting, oh, real quick before I get into that, I'm gonna do away with this. I'm gonna get 100 foot of the zero G. Here's my plan. I'm gonna get 100 foot of the zero G um, garden hose, and I'm gonna have another system. Let's look at this real quick. Right, right before I start talking about this, we'll kind of look at the soft flush system, see how it does. Run off that. That's just off a regular Dewalt. I went to Roll King, picked up that battery for like 60 bucks. There's the pump back in here. Everflow, Everflow pump. Run in here, got in a toolbox. Let's just see, it's got a nice little fan pattern. That's just with the black tip I got on here right now. Uh, cover's good. Oh, got some hair in there. That air out of there. And I just I just put on one of these little solar panels. I just literally just put it on here. You can see how it's glazing over how hum humid it is. I haven't mounted that up yet. Not really sure. Maybe top of the truck. I'd like to get a big one, put it on the top on the roof of the truck, and then run it into my battery box and leave it charged. All it does is come with little alligator clips. It has the same thing that hook, hook, hooks into my pump. So I mean. Just a little trickle charger instead of just going out and spending, you know, whatever. I didn't find, ain't about spending money. It's just me being cheap. That's all it is. I don't know. We'll see how that does. Uh, I don't I don't think I have anything to do for the next few hours with this until the roof wash later on today. So we'll let that charge up. What else? All right. Kind of what I want to talk about too is, yeah, this isn't the best setup, but I'm on my way. I, I should have made the, I should have did the 12 volt move last year. I didn't understand the time it would save. But here's the thing, it's been an uphill battle. You're wanting to get into business and, and cause I work a third shift job. I work, um, I'm going to 11 to seven, I work nine to five right now. I get off at 5 a.m., go in at 9 p.m. So it's hustle grind mode, but that's okay. That's what, it, that's, that's what it's all about, right guys? That's what it's all about. There's no reason you can't succeed either. And not that I'm succeeding right now, but I know I will. That's the thing. I see the opportunity. I'm in the perfect market, and you're in the perfect market too. So pull the trigger. Make the move. I'd like to see your equipment show off, uh, set up. I'm going to put a ladder rack over here, run it up top. I like the equipment. I like the rig, uh, the equipment and soft wash rigs. and I like all that equipment stuff. I like that talk. I, I really like this style of video, so I kind of want to do mine. So... With that's kind of where I'm at right now. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. Keep hustling, keep grinding. Maybe next year I'll be able to buy one of them fancy pants Arkansas soft wash uh, skids or maybe one of them southeast soft wash skids. Who knows? Uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep upgrading as we go. And if we don't invest in ourselves, who is? So, hang tight. You might see some work footage. This might be the end of the video. I don't know. Appreciate you guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'll be cleaning, taking the, taking the paint. I mean, fall at you, Jason Guyman. Taking the paint down to the best of my ability. I already talked with the homeowner. They understand that 
not every piece of paint is going to come up. Actually, I've already set the expectation, so we're good. I'll be working on this. Look at that. Let's hold a still shot from here. Okay, the, I'm gonna clip that out. That might be a thumbnail, or that's definitely gonna be a before and after. Let's go over here. Okay, before and after. I'm trying to find some good spots. Okay, so I'm gonna clip that mine. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Hey, one issue I've been having, drop it in the link below if you guys have had this issue. My unloader, my unloader valve, I've been having a lot of issues. Either there'll be no pressure, so I'm tightening it down, that spring's getting to be corroded. And I think it's about time for a new machine. I don't know. So I'm gonna do the best I can here. I'm gonna set you guys up. Are right, we gonna get started, dog? See you. All right. card got filled up halfway through. I thought I was recording the whole time. But let me show you where we're at right now. Um, I'm not taking it 100% completely off. I don't want to fur the wood up real bad and we're going to apply. I'm going to come back and paint it. I'm going to paint it the same color. So I was able to kind of get lucky. This is older wood. When you're see this has got furred up here too. You got to be careful when you're stripping paint off of old decks that are just beat down, wore out. Because, man, these, these machines, they got a lot of power to them. You know what I mean? Y'all know what it is. Let me get the pressure out of this line. Um, you got to be careful. You'll fur the wood up real bad. It looks horrible. Um, so, with that, I'm going to turn around and kind of show you what it is. What, where we're at right now, we're going to paint the same color. I wanted to get more of it out. But I don't want to damage the wood. I don't want to. I don't want to have to change this, this whole deck. So, turn it around. Here we are. That's a new piece of lumber. I did make a big. mistake that I made. I was like, okay, yeah, I can easily do that. We can go ahead and do the whole house, and I'll go ahead and get you scheduled on for get the whole house washed. Like, ah, they pushed back, I pushed. So I'm gonna go give them an estimate on that. Back of the house, pool deck, probably look about 275, maybe 325, somewhere around in there. I don't know. I really haven't looked at it yet. 